Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stella Rose. If you haven't been here before, welcome. I am super excited for you to join me. Today, I am going to be doing my blush collection and declutter. Um, I have been waiting a long time for this um, because there are quite a few blushes that I feel like I'm gonna get rid of, but then at the same time, I feel... <laughs> I feel like I'm not gonna get rid of hardly anything. So we're gonna do some swatches. Um, I'm not gonna swatch everything, um, but I will be doing some swatches on the ones that I'm not 100% certain that I want to keep or get rid of. Um, and they will be on my arm and um, we'll go from there. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button if this is something that you enjoy watching. Um, I also do some other beauty uh, videos and unboxings on my channel. So if you like stuff like that, make sure you hit the like button, click the subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notified of all my future uploads. And let's go ahead and get right into it. So um, first I'm going to start off with this Laura Mercier blush. This is in the shade Rosé. It looks like this. I actually really like this blush. I haven't used it enough. Um, so this is something that I definitely am going to keep in my collection. Um, it's actually in my shop, my stash for this week. So it is going to be staying. The next blush I have is also in my shop, my stash. It's the Marc Jacobs, um, lush and libido blush lush and libido blush <laughs> and it looks like this this one is a little bit more tricky to use um it does have quite a bit of color so you just need the littlest application of it but i am going to keep it because i i, I literally just bought it like a couple of months ago and i haven't gotten enough use out of it so i am not going to be getting rid of that one either the next blush I have is in my Project Pan, and this is the Becca Snapdragon blush. It is also super pigmented. I do like it as well. Um, I'm not getting rid of this. <laughs> if you've watched my Project Pan update, um, my unofficial Project Pan update, because I never really made an official Project Pan for the year. I just randomly started it because I wanted to finish some stuff or get some use out of some other stuff. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> without me rambling, I'm going to keep this. The next product I have is from Milani. This is the Dulce Pink um, Baked Blush, and I am going to be keeping this. Um, I haven't gotten a lot of use out of it, but I feel like it would be a pretty good blush color, and like that's, that's, that's kind of pretty. I mean, look at that. So, I'm going to be keeping that. Next, I have quite a few blushes from ColourPop, and I'm going to go through all my ColourPop blushes really fast um, because most likely I'll be keeping every single one of them. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Just saying. So the first one I have is from the Disney Designer Collection. This is the Court of Miracles. It has Esmeralda on the front, and it looks like this. It's a nice, deep pink. I will be keeping the next one I have has Belle on the front. This is the Enchanted Mirror one. It is a nice lighter pink and I will be keeping that one. The next one I have is from the, um, I can't remember what collection it is, but it's the Garden. I think it's the Garden Collection because <laughs> it's got a flower on the front. Probably the Garden Collection. Hmm. Anyway, this one is in the shade Night Bloom, and this one is a nice, like, bright pink, and I don't have anything like this in my collection, I don't believe, and I will be keeping this one. I just have to have a light hand for that. <laughs> the next one I have is also from the Garden Collection, and this one is in Desert Rose. It's a nice peach color, and um, it doesn't have any sparkles in it, and I really like it, so I will also be keeping this one. The next one I have is, again, from the Garden Collection. This one's in Whole Nine Yards, and this one does have sparkles in it. I don't know if you can see it in here. I don't have the, I don't have a good enough light. I'm, it's like five something in the morning, and I'm filming my declutter video. <laughs> but um, I do really like this blush as well, so I will be keeping. The next one I have is, I don't know what collection this is. I bought it secondhand. I guess it's the peach collection. Um, this one's fresh and peachy and I will be keeping this one. It looks like this. 
The next one I have is also from some sort of flower collection. <laughs> this one's called Catch My Vibe. And this one is a nice pink and I will be keeping this one. Finally, I have two more and these are from the just released collection. Um, not just released, the second just released because there was another collection that was, anyway, let's move on. This one is in palatal. It looks like this. It's a nice peach as well. And I know I have quite a lot of peach ones, but I still like this one. It still looks different to me. So I will be keeping this one. And finally, this one is in Vogue. It is a nice deeper pink. And I also like this one and we'll be keeping this one. So like I said, I'm not going to be getting rid of any of my ColourPop. ColourPop is my favorite of pretty much anything. So if you see it, I'll most likely be keeping it in any kind of declutter videos. Most likely. You'll see one in foundation that you're going to say, oh, she's decluttering that. Okay. But she just said in the other videos that she'll keep everything color pop. Yeah. Don't listen to me all the time. I'm not always right. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> anyway, the next one I have is from Revlon. This is in Rosie Rendezvous. Um, it is a nice nudie pink and I do like this color. So I will be keeping that. From Essence, the blush, this one is in Beloved. It looks like this. I actually like the application of this one. It applies very easily. Um, it gives good pigment, not too much, not too little, and I will be keeping that one. Um, from Physician's Formula, I have Natural. It's the Glow and Mood Boosting Blush and it's got a bunch of hearts on it. And I actually don't like this one. It doesn't show up very much on my skin. Um, it is pretty light, which isn't always a bad thing, but I just, I don't really like the color. And I have all these ColourPop ones and I feel like this one's just doesn't live up to all the ColourPop ones. So I will be decluttering that one. The next one I have is from Jouer. This is a duo. It's Rose Gold Blush Duo in Marigold and Rose Petal. And it looks like this. Um, I actually really like this and I love Jouer. I don't have enough items from Jouer. Um, I would love more because it is such a good brand. Um, but I really like the more peachy side and the more pink side. So I will be keeping this duo. The next one I have is from AOA Studio. It is a Lumi Radiant Blush. This one's in Rose Dawn. It looks like this. It's got some sparkle in it. It looks like it has some gold in there as well. And this one is super pigmented. Um, one of the ones that I'm actually not sure that I want to keep. So I'm going to put this to the side and it will be a maybe. The next one I have is from NARS. This is the NARS Orgasm. I know a lot of people love it and I know a lot of people who hate it. And it has sparkles in it and I am one of the ones that actually love it. So I will be keeping this blush. The next blush I have I got on sale. As you can tell, um, this is from Rimmel. It is the Maxi Blush in the shade Third Base. It looks like this and it actually works pretty well for me. So um, I don't have any qualms about keeping this. Um, I like to reach out for different blushes. This one has some glitter in it. If you don't like glitter, I don't suggest getting the Rimmel Maxi Blush, even though this one's, I mean, it's obviously discontinued or something like that, but I do like this one and I will be keeping. The next one I have is also from NARS. It's a NARS mini. This one's in deep throat and it looks like this. It's a little bit darker than the NARS orgasm and it doesn't have any sparkle in it. I like this one and will be keeping. Um, this is another one that I've been thinking about decluttering and I'm not sure because I like the color, but it's a loose powder. It's from Bella Pierre um, and it has it's like this dark shade. It's in the shade Desert Rose and it looks really dark, but then you get it on and it looks really cute. And, but I'm just, I'm so nervous about like 
loose powder blushes that I just, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna put this in my maybe because I don't know what to do. The next one I have is from Honest. You saw my review video on this brand. It worked really well in the video. And then since then, it hasn't really worked for me. It has been skipping. It hasn't been applying very well. I don't know if it's the foundation, if it's the powder, if it's, if it's just the blush itself. This is in the shade Flirty. It's a lit powder blush and it looks like this. Um, I just haven't been getting along with it and so I'm going to declutter it. So I don't, I don't know what was going on. It worked well in that first video and then just didn't. So it's decluttered. Next I have from Gigi Gorgeous is the only blush duo in Authentic and Pride. And it looks like this one half is glitter, one half is not. Um, we've got the pink glitter side and then the peach regular side. I really like this blush. I like the duo. I like to swirl them together and I will be keeping. The next blush I have is also from AOA, but this one says Malibu Glitz. This is in Wild Rose. I'm obsessed with anything that's called Rose. Can you tell why? <laughs> it looks like this. This one is pretty deep. Um, I don't, I don't like it. It skips around. It's too red, pink, ready pink. So I will be decluttering that one. The next one I have is called Show Me Your Cheeks. It's in soft pink. I got this in a subscription box. It's by Elizabeth Mott. Um, it's a nice peachy neutral tone. Um, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it's too light. Yeah, it didn't even show up on me. So I will be decluttering that. The next one I have is from Tarte. This is in the shade Seduce, and I really like this shade. It's a nice neutral. I don't have enough dark kind of brownish neutral colors, so I am definitely going to be keeping that. The next one I have is from Milani. This is the Blossom Time Rose Powder Blush. And I actually really like the Milani blushes. These break so easily. I, the one time that I actually went to buy a, this Milani blush, this exact one, there was two on the shelf. I brought one up to the counter and dropped it. When I went to go check out, it just dropped, shattered so bad. I felt so devastated. I was so upset. I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. And I felt so bad. And I went and got back, got another one to, to go check out with because this blush is just, I love, I love the Milani blushes. They are so good. The next blush I have is from Hourglass. This is in diffused heat and it looks like this. It's got a little bit more of a shimmer in it than some other blushes, and it looks like this. I actually really like this one, and it doesn't show up on my like arm very well, but when I put it on my cheeks, there we go, but when I put it on my cheeks, it looks really good, so I will be keeping this one. I'm keeping a lot of blushes. See, I told you I was gonna have a problem. Okay, so the next one I have is this Ciate London. This one's in the Pinch Me. It's a little travel size. I got it in like an Ipsy bag. Um, and I am not gonna be keeping this one. I don't need this one. I have other ones that look like the exact, not like look the exact same because it does have a little bit of like a swirl color gold stuff in it, but like pretty much the same color story. So I'm decluttering this one. The next one I have is from Kylie. This is in We're Going Shopping. And I like this one. It's a nice peach. I don't have too many peach. I seem to have more like pinks and whatnot. So um, I would like to keep this one as well. Next I have from e.l.f. I have a little duo. This is the um, Spiced Apple Duo and one side is a blush. The other side is a highlight and I will be keeping this one because I actually haven't used it yet. So keeping. 
The next one I have is from ColourPop. This is in Birthday Suit. It's a Super Shock Cheek. And I used it one time and I just don't like the formula. I don't know what it is. I just, I can't get on with the Super Shock formulas for everything. And it just kind of makes me anxious to use it because um, of how it's formulated. So I have to put it on with like a wet sponge and then apply it on my cheeks and then I just don't do it right and it just looks weird on me and so I'm decluttering. The next blush I have is from I Heart Revolution. This is the Soft Shimmer Blusher in Strawberry and it obviously has a strawberry on it. It is way too pink, way too glittery, way too everything, and I'm decluttering this. I do not like it one bit. The next blush I have is from Flower Beauty. This is in the shade Flower Pots. Nope, it's in Sweet Pea. I lied. This is in Sweet Pea. I love this color. This is like a dusty rose colored, and um, it applies really well. Flower Beauty is very underrated, I feel like. I feel like I don't hear enough about it, and this blush is really good. You should check it out. The next blush I have is also from Tarte. This one's in Peaceful, and it looks like this. It's a really nice kind of nudie pink, and it applies really well. And I, I like the Tarte blushes. There are some people that I've heard that don't really like the Tarte blushes and I don't know why. I like, I don't know if it's the Amazonian clay that they like react to or it just skips over or something like that. But for me, they work really well and I like them. The next blush I have is also from AOA Studio. It's another Lumi blush. This one's in delicate pink. Looks like this. It's got some more shifting in it as well. And this is what it looks like down here. And I don't know which one I should keep. I think, I think I'm gonna keep the darker one and get rid of the lighter one. So we're gonna keep this one and get rid of this one. The last blush that I have is from Milani. This is the Cheek Kish, Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in 140 Rose Romance. So I, I used it twice, messed up both times. I looked like I had a sunburn. Um, I don't know how to apply liquid blush. I don't think I'm ever gonna get the hang of it. It freaks me out. I really would like to learn how to use this, but I just, I don't know if I should keep it or not and keep playing with it or, or what I should do. So, um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because I, I just, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to play around with it and I, I don't think I'm gonna master it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it out of my collection, so. Okay, so going back to the one blush that I had in my baby pile after we had already decluttered the other AOA uh, Lumi blush and this one's the Bella Pierre and I'm gonna swatch it one more time and see what I think about it. And then, so it's right here. And I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to keep this one and I actually need to start playing with it. So I am going to keep this blush and yeah, so that is what I am going to be keeping. We are getting rid of nine blushes and we are keeping We are keeping 28 blushes and getting rid of only nine. Oh my goodness. This was like probably my worst declutter ever. <laughs> I can't believe I did so bad. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm going to be, I'm going to not apparently cutthroat during this one, but yeah, so we are going to be keeping all of these blushes. So all right, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day and remember to stay beautiful.